What's going on, Chill Army? DeAndreOx7 here. So, what do you guys think of the brand new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer? In this video, I'll cover a lot of the major news. The name of the entirely new region you'll be visiting is revealed in the trailer, Paldea. Additionally, the legendary Pokemon provide a clear view of some of the traversal mechanics, and a new treasure hunt narrative aspect is hinted at. This adds the mechanism known as Terrastal Phenomenon, which essentially causes your Pokemon friends to turn shiny and crystallized. This appears to be the main hook of the game. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will be completely open world, a first for the mainline series after the franchise dipped its toes in the water with Pokemon Legends Arceus, as was reiterated during the most recent Pokemon Presents program. To drive home this point, it was revealed that, similar to other games, players would be entrusted with taking on 8 gym leaders. This time though, there is a difference in that you are entirely free to decide which gym you want to challenge first, providing gamers with a wealth of opportunities to create their own tales inside the Paldea region. Additionally, one gym leader has already been identified, the Ice-type specialist Grusha, who is in charge of the Glaciado gym. Additionally, it has been established that there are actually three main stories in the game, not including the customary gym challenge. Although it hasn't been verified, it's probable that when the games go on sale on November 18th, we'll find out for sure what the other two are. You can use the legendary Pokemon Coridon and Maridon in interesting ways to help you navigate the area and find the Pokemon gyms, such as riding them about in a sort of bike form, climbing mountains with ease, and even gliding around with complete freedom. We learned a little bit about Terrastal Pokemon, which appears to be Generation 9 special gimmick. Your Pokemon start to crystallize as a result of this recent phenomena, making them all dazzling and sparkly. They also receive some additional adornment on their heads as a bonus. Moreover, they weren't limited to flowers like Sprigatito or Eevee appeared to be. However, this is not just for a pleasant cosmetic improvement. The Pokemon's stats are improved by transforming into a crystal, including altered stats and a Terra type change. Every Pokemon has a unique Terra type, and there are even unusual sorts to discover. For instance, there are various sorts of Eevee to find. Once each battle, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon, but it only lasts until the end of the battle. And it will increase its power even further if your Pokemon employs a move that is compatible with its Terra type. Without a catalyst, you can't just transform your Pokemon into a huge gem. You'll require a Terra Orb which is reportedly only available to specific trainers. This obviously refers to everyone who is playing the game. The catch is that when you terrestrialize a Pokemon, the Terra Orb completely loses all of its power. By making a trip back to a Pokemon Center or by touching crystals in the wild, you can recharge it. Additionally, the presentation made it clear that raid battles will be returning and would be based on this new mechanic. You travel down to a Pokemon world full of sparkles with three other buddies. As I learn more about the Terrastal Phenomenon, I'll let you know, but it appears that the Pokemon's Terra type affects the forms as water, fire, ice, and flying can all be seen sporting various head ornaments. Here are all the new Pokemon revealed in this trailer. Satitan is a massive, white and pink Pokemon that automatically qualifies as one of the biggest Pokemon of all time due to its enormous size and weight. It is a land whale, meaning it has thick fat, powerful muscles, and a horn that can cause its surroundings to freeze. Our first regional variant is Paldean Wooper, a Wooper covered with poisonous film. According to its official description, Wooper had lived underwater in the Paldea region in the past. However, it appears that after losing a territorial conflict, they started residing in bogs on land. I also like how it added a clever touch to the design by making the gills resemble the crossbones used as the symbol for poison internationally. Additionally, the description states that you might encounter poisoned Pokemon in the areas where these Wooper reside, which suggests that Pokemon Scarlet and Violet might add wild encounters with Pokemon who already have status problems. That's freaking cool! And lastly we have Fido, a cute tiny bread-based dog. 
Fido has moist, smooth skin that is elastic and has a firm yet supple texture. These Pokemon scare their adversaries when they become agitated by inflating their bodies to appear larger. Using the yeast in its breath, Fido ferments objects in its vicinity. Since said yeast is useful in cooking, mankind have long preserved this Pokemon. And that is going to conclude everything revealed in the new Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer. I'll end it off with a question of the day. Which starter are you guys choosing? The Grass Cat, Sprigatito, the Fire Croc, Coco, or the Fabulous Duckling, Quaxley? Please comment in the description down below with, along with your reasoning why. Also, if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys want me to cover more Scarlet and Violet news, be sure to accidentally smack that like button as it really helps push this video out to the YouTube algorithm and gets more people to click on these videos and grows our fan base. Also, for those of you who are brand new to the channel, my name is DeAndreHawk7 and I would appreciate it if you guys accidentally, you know, move your mouse and click that subscribe button and also click the bell notification so you guys will be up no up noted, updated every time I upload a new video. It's 100% free, guaranteed. And be sure to check out all of my other Pokemon content. I make tons of videos, like three to four videos a week. But until then, I love you all, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Only good, chill army.